Now the serpent was cunning, more than all the beasts of the field that the Lord God had made. And it said to the woman, Did God indeed say, Ye shall not eat of any of the trees of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, Of the fruit of the trees of the garden we may eat, but of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden, God said, Ye shall not eat of it, ye shall not touch it, lest ye die. The serpent said to the woman, You will surely not die. For God knows that on the day that you eat thereof, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like angels, knowing good and evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes. And the tree was desirable to make one wise. So she took of its fruit, and she ate. And she gave also to her husband, with her and he ate and the eyes of both of them were opened and they knew that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves and made themselves girdles and they heard the voice of the Lord God going in the garden to the direction of the sun and the man and his wife hid from before the Lord God in the midst of the trees of the garden and the Lord God called to man and he said to him where are you And he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I am naked, so I hid. And he said, Who told you that you are naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? And the man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree, so I ate. The Lord said to the woman, What is this that you have done? And the woman said, The serpent enticed me. And I ate, and the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed be you more than all the cattle, and more than all the beasts of the field, you shall walk on your belly, and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. And I shall place hatred between you and between the woman, and between your seed and between her seed. He will crush your head, and you will bite his heel. To the woman he said, I shall surely increase your sorrow and your pregnancy and pain you shall bear children and to your husband will be your desire and he will rule over you and to man he said because you listened to your wife and you ate from the tree from which I commanded you saying you shall not eat of it cursed be the ground for your sake with toil shall you eat of it the days of your life and it will cause thorns and thistles to grow for you, and you shall eat the herbs of the field. With the sweat of your face you shall eat bread, until you return to the ground. For you were taken therefrom, for dust you are, and to dust you will return. And the man named his wife Eve, because she was the mother of all life. The Lord God made for Adam and for his wife shirts of skin, and he dressed them. Now the Lord God said, Behold, man has become like one of us, having the ability of knowing good and evil. And now lest he stretch forth his hand and take also from the tree of life, and eat and live forever. The Lord God sent him out of the Garden of Eden to till the soil whence he had been taken. And he drove the man out, and he stationed from the east of the Garden of Eden the cherubim and the blade of the revolving sword to guard the way to the tree of life.